Okay, here's the effects video. I have two overlays in it and a background. As you can see, the point of chroma key here is to change what is behind you. I have this starry background and these overlay effects. This is the before video. As you can see, it's not a green screen. It's just a blue sheet. You can use any solid color sheet or wall, as long as it's a solid color. And in chroma key here, it will work. After you've filmed your project with a solid color background, preferably something smoother than my sheet, apologies about that, you want to open up Vegas Pro and drag in the media you wish to use. I'm using that same background as the video. I'm going to pull it in right next to the video in the project media. Next, you're bringing it down. There, it's nice and viewable. You see it on the screen, a little preview. You're going to probably crop it however you want. You can click and drag. You want to bring the background that you want and bring it under it all. Spread it out. Make sure it's entirely behind it. Because when you do that, there, I'm shrinking it so you can see it. Alright, next up, you want to click that little square button. Brings up this. Go to Aspect Ratio. Click No. And you see how there's no black on the sides now. It spreads it out. It covers the whole thing. You may not have that problem, but if you do, do it with your media. It just keeps it from that annoying little side stuff. Then you're going to bring it in and crop it. You want only that color to show in the background. See how I'm moving it so it's only the blue behind me. You don't want any of that wall to show. Ta-da! All right. And then I'm going to right-click this and cut it because I didn't start at the very beginning. And removing that first one keeps it all the same through the whole thing. Uh, all right, so you see the video. I have the blue screen. All right, you go to chroma key here. If you have something that's not blue or listed because there's blue and red and green screens, you can use any of those if that's the color. If not, you can default, which you click and drag to the video. And you see where it says color, you click it. And there's that little droplet thing. If you have a different color background that's not listed, you use that droplet and just click it on the clearest spot of that. And it'll pop it up just like how it is there. Now I'm going to remove, see how, if you click the wrong spot. Alright, I'm going to remove that and go to a blue screen because I'm using a blue sheet. Then you want to use the thresholds to just make it look good. You got to play with it a little and see. Like how there's that little bit of stuff in the left that keeps popping. I don't want that. And if you do that too much, you know, you get the shadows. And you don't want that either. So you have to play with it. The top one works the background. The middle one works like you. You also don't want to stand too close to the screen. Shadows can be a little bit of a problem, which is why my um, crinkle sheet is kind of a problem. You can use the blur and it smooths it out a bit. Now you have me with a starry background. I'll do the overlays which you saw in the first video in a different video. But that is how you do a green screen without a green screen. You use any solid color background and chroma key it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Have a wonderful day.